Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 11th, 2020. Before I begin, I'd like to, to uh, share my, give my respects to all those first responders as well as firefighters and police, uh, police officials that basically lost their lives as well as those people in the Twin Towers on that terrifying day that America was attacked from across the country. I hope everyone is doing well since that happened, basically. But um, I basically do have to give you guys the news about what's going on with the politicians and any type of government or assistance they might want to give us. Well, this, this way, the Senate failed to pass the skinny bill, the one I told you about yesterday. They failed to pass it yesterday. And they said we will cover the second stimulus check and what just happened in the Senate. We'll update you on Trump's executive orders for the payroll tax cut and unemployment benefits through FEMA. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases say that COVID-19 will become worse in the fall and even worse in the wintertime. Mitch McConnell said the Democrats care more about the politics than helping the pe American people. Chuck Schumer replied, he, uh, he's the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, he replied, uh, the Republicans voted on this bill just to put on a show and give the appearance that they want to help the people. So basically, we're having the Republicans saying Democrats don't want to help the people. Then we have Democrats saying the exact same thing about the Republicans. And let's see here. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin says that the $1.3 trillion stimulus package is still on the table. This $1.3 trillion stimulus package has in it a second $1,200 stimulus check for people. It has an extension of unemployment and a second round of paycheck protection money. The unemployment remains at a record high, a record high levels basically. The income, uh, the, the income in inequality is rising. Food insecurity is rising. Eviction is rising, and Americans are suffering. And this is all because the politicians do not want to pass a bill that will help the American people out, even though they have $300 billion left over from the CARES Act that they can easily redistribute and give the American people a second stimulus check and then still give us another one when they pass another bill. But let's see here. And basically, an update on Trump's executive orders. The payroll tax cut uh, basically will affect 2.2 uh, federal workers, and will not be able, and they will not be able to opt out of this payroll tax cut. So those 2.2 federal workers are going to get hit by Trump's federal tax cut. And the female unemployment is basically we have 21 states that have issued their, started issuing their payments. We have. 49 states total that have applied, or and that have, that let me see that have applied, or are basically pending approval. We have 20 states still that have to start issuing their payments. So basically, America is trying to get unemployment out of the people. And as far as the Democrats and Republicans go, neither side wants to appear weak as it comes up to election time. That's why they're fighting so much about passing a stimulus package for the people that will help them out. So basically, we're going to suffer until after elections because the hopes of a second stimulus check at this present time are pretty much grim. So if anything new comes up, hopefully we can get a stimulus package out there for the people soon so we can get stimulus checks out there so people can start getting food in their stomachs. And we'll see what good old President Trump does with that $300 billion that is just sitting in the CARES Act that's just collecting dust, doing no good, just sitting there. But I'm sorry to say this is my short stimulus update for my people, because you all are my people. So until next time, you guys have a fabulous Friday. Stay safe. And try, please try to put some food in your stomachs and so we can fight all these politicians that want to hurt us. So until then, be safe, be happy, 
and I'll broadcast the end to you guys tomorrow. Bye.